Cole Miner just put kneeling bathhouse football stars in their place with what he does before every shift. A hard-working West Virginia coal miner is going viral after posting a Facebook video of him singing the Star Spangled Banner and social media is loving every bit of it. This comes at a perfect time when overpaid athletes are disrespecting America, dissing the military, and ruining football by mixing politics with entertainment. Josh Stowers, the singer, didn't expect this video to become such a highly beloved social media sensation. But now he's seeing what it's like to truly go viral. What's even better? He's going viral for doing something positive, which is something America needs right now. Shane Riston posted the video of Josh Stowers and some coal miner co workers showing respect as Josh performed his singing rendition of the national anthem. The video completely influences a positive outlook on America, being thankful for what you have being respectful to our great country and the veterans who fought for us, and sheds a bright light on the darkness portrayed by the athletes who keep protesting the flag and ruining the NFL more than Roger Goodell was ever able to. Watch the great video. Stowers and Riston work for Mammoth Coal in Mammoth, West Virginia. Josh is singing has drawn an avalanche of positive reaction across the United States, not only because he sings so well but because the gesture is such a stark contrast to the NFL players who refuse to stand for the national anthem. The average annual salary for a coal miner is $55,000 to $60,000 a year. It is a dangerous, physically taxing, unglamorous job, but the coal miners and Mammoth Coal salute their country every morning before starting work. Just think about that for one second. The coal miners earn up to $60,000 to do a horribly dangerous job that comes with absolutely no glamour, no thanks, and they are partially responsible for providing the resources to energy for tons of places in our country. Yet we won't see them on television. We don't know who they are. They don't get to sign autographs. And here they are being more respectful than any of the overpaid and ignorant celebrities in the National Football League who protest and trash America. Our coal miners come home dirty, disgusting, exhausted, and underpaid. Our NFL athletes go home sweaty and maybe have dirt on them if they're not playing on turf. They collect millions, live an extravagant lifestyle, and the NFL consistently overcharges for everything thus ripping off Americans on a weekly basis for overpriced items at stadiums. And who do children idolize? The hard-working coal miners who keep this country running or the NFL athletes who are more privileged than almost every American citizen? The NFL could close tomorrow and our country would continue to run. The coal miners could quit tomorrow and we'd be in trouble. The coal miners are more important to us, but they're not paid well nor living the glamorous lifestyle of an overpaid football player. In contrast, NFL player Colin Kaepernick signed a seven-year. $126 million contract in 2014, which he later opted out of. Despite his enormous wealth, fame, and privilege, Kpernik insists he's a victim of systemic white racism and oppression. The guy who opted out of a $126 million contract who thought he was a victim of made-up racism and oppression sparked the nonsense that's plagued the NFL for weeks. Find me a millionaire who is oppressed and underprivileged. Meanwhile, there are regular everyday Americans living paycheck to paycheck, spending their extra cash on football games and paying the salaries of NFL athletes who then spit in our faces. Maybe we should give the humble coal miners the million dollar contracts and start paying pro football players $60,000 per year. Let's see how fast the athletes go broke with their extravagant lifestyle. Let's see some football players learn how to live check to check and balance a budget. I would love to watch a pro athlete take a family of five to a chain restaurant and inform his family they're ordering on a budget and can't get a drink if it's not unlimited refills. So much respect goes to our coal miners who help provide resources for energy while NFL players are simply there for entertainment. If there's one thing the protesting players in professional football need to know, then it's this, we don't need you, but we do need our coal. Football is nothing more than a very expensive form of entertainment. If the athletes don't stop protesting, then they'll be coal mining and working in retail stores right there next to us. They need to listen to their boy Kendrick Lamar and sit down, 
be humble before they lose their big contracts and million dollar endorsements. Football players need us, we don't need them. We do need our coal miners and I personally thank you for working so hard and providing for our country, our country.